my name is Brandon Levine and welcome to today's video. Today we'll be learning how to send a PDF version of a submitted form to a Gmail address. And it is a pretty simple and quick process to go through to set that all up. But in order to do that, we will have to set up a connection with Adobe Experience Manager and our Gmail account. So let's get started. So the first steps we have to take are configuring some settings on AEM. And we'll go to the tools and down to operations, then to web console. Once that is loaded, we can go ahead and search for the CQ mail service, this first one right here. And then we can go into editing the configurations. So we'll edit, and then you can see I already have some set up right here. And these are the ones I'm using for my environment. So the server host name for Gmail is smtp.gmail.com. Then I'm using server port 465. And then we have my uh, email address that I'm going to be connecting to, as well as my password for that email address. And the from address is just going to be that email address that you're using for this uh, connection. And then we want to make sure that the SMTP uses SSL is also checked. And then once you have that all filled out, go ahead and click save. And that's going to be it on this side of AM. So the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure our Gmail account is going to allow us to connect to it with AEM. And we have to go to the security settings of our account and turn on the allow less secure apps if it is currently switched off. And a link to this page will be in the description. And all you have to do is just scroll all the way down to access this panel. And then once that setting has been turned on, you are done on the Gmail side. All right, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and test this out so we can go into making a pretty basic form. So we'll go into our forms and into our forms and documents. And we'll just go ahead and make a adaptive form. It's gonna make a pretty simple form. Let's call this YouTube demo. I'll call this YouTube email demo. And then we want to go to form model and make sure that the generate document of record is also uh, clicked. And then we'll go ahead and make our form. All right, so now that our form has been created, there's one thing we have to do, which is actually configure the submit button to actually send a PDF via email. And the first thing we need to do to do that is make sure we're on this content tab and then go to the form container section and then click on the wrench to configure the configurations of the form container. And once we're on the or properties for the form container, we can go down to the submission tab. We can click on that and we, and we want to make sure the submit action is changed to the send PDF via email. And then when we do that, we want to make sure a few things have been filled in. The from address should be the one we were configuring earlier when we're configuring the properties of the CQ mail service, I think that was called. And the to address is going to be where this PDF document will be sent to. Um, so I just have it as DX, the same one I configured earlier just for simplicity's sake. So it'll just keep keep going to that one so it's easy to check for me. And just keep in mind that this is a hard-coded value, so anytime this form is submitted, it will always go to this one. Um, and we can certainly put in some more addresses. We can, you know, CC and BCC people as well. And for the subject, uh, this will be the subject of the actual email. So I just called it YouTube demo. And for the email template, uh, we can certainly make this however we want. I just have something super simple. Um, so in the subject line of the email, we'll see this is my template. But if we have a template created in CRXC Lite, we can certainly link that up right here as well, just by clicking the check mark, then finding it in our files. And that's going to be it for these settings. Uh, we can also include attachments if our form has been, or if we want our users to attach a link to the form, we can certainly include that in the email as well. But for now, we're just going to apply the settings and test out the form.
All right, so the form has been submitted, so I can go to my email, and I can see that I have a new email. Uh, I can go ahead and click, click this. I can see that it's from the DX demo. I can see that the subject is YouTube demo. I can see this is where my template is. And then I can click on this attached document, and I can see the uh, form I just filled out. I can see that for my name right here. I can see the date I just picked, and I can see the sports that I also chose. So that will wrap it up for today. I want to thank you guys for listening and watching my video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and have a nice day.